you're the kid who's been sending me those articles from the school newspaper. What do you like, the star of your school? They hate me. From the creator of Jerry Maguire. I love the time in someone's life where the world tilts a little bit. This is Rolling Stone magazine. I think you should be writing for us. We can only pay, let me see, $700. I'll write a grand. William was an outsider. I'm William Miller. I'm a journalist. Not on the list. When he met a band named Stillwater and got inside the world of his dreams. It's gonna get ugly, man. They're gonna buy you drinks. You're gonna meet girls. Oh. They're gonna fly you places for free. Look, I know it sounds great. These people are not your friends. Almost Famous was inspired by Cameron Crowe's real life experiences. That was me, and that was me at that exact spot. Ow! How old are you? 17. Me too. Actually, I'm 16. How old are we really? I'm 15. That was the first place I ever got backstage, and I didn't want to leave. He's still got all these boxes of the tour passes and the buttons and the pictures from those days. And, you know, he can't let them go. So finally, Larry Kasdan, who's a bud, said, Cameron, you've got to write your story. And then you can put those boxes away. Starting about 10 years ago, I would say, one day I'm going to do this movie. And the goal was to write a love letter back to music. And the characters behind the songs that you still hear on classic radio. The Lester Banks character is a tribute to a real guy who was a little bit of a mentor to me. Music. Yeah, you know, true music, uh, not just rock and roll, it chooses you. It's quite an honor to have the world's greatest rock critic and editor of Cream Magazine, Lester Bangs. The Cameron is quite successful today in films that he's told from his heart. And I think Lester probably saw that, you know, the Cameron Crowe. If you're gonna be a true journalist, who cannot make friends with the rock stars. Do you have to be depressed to write a sad song? Do you have to be in love to write a love song? When did you get so professional? I think that's the first time in his life that he really feels cool. Beware, beware a Rolling Stone magazine, because they will change your story, they'll rewrite it. But besides that, what would be wrong with it? I just remember this kid, this kind of glumpy kid we were starting to send around to places. Kind of quiet and shy, but it's just totally charming. Any ideas? Uh, how about Stillwater? Crazy. Let's do 3,000 words. We'll join the band on the road. Me a journalism major? Yeah. What college? Honey, I need you to do that thing that fixes the garbage disposal. Well, I certainly know how my lady gets when you don't snap to it. Crazy. 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 Cameron was the youngest contributing editor for Rolling Stone. And Cameron was the kid always in the corner, observing with his eyes and listening with his ears. I am telling secrets to the one guy you don't tell secrets to. The story is based in large part on the first Allman Brothers story that I did and also the Led Zeppelin cover story, where I'd spent weeks on the road with these guys. 